When officials ordered an evacuation of the Florida Keys, some residents chose to stay behind, either to help others or because they felt they could withstand what ultimately arrived as a Category 4 hurricane. It sounded like a train going by. They just kept coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Horrible winds that I can still hear, like a recording. As the overseas highway reopened, residents who had fled were often short of breath and words when viewing the damage. Pretty wild. I never thought it would be this bad, but it's, oh, God. It's bad. Returning home for the first time after a natural disaster is an overwhelming endeavor for any local. Not only is there material loss, but also a sense of longing and recognition that their community of neighbors, friends, and family has forever changed. This is our second homes. A couple of us uh, moved down permanently. Mm -hmm. They're real homes and <laughs> there's nothing left. There was three generations of firefighters that have been here and uh, starting from my grandfather to my uncle. Billy the Kid Quinn, whose home in Seabreeze Trailer Park was decimated, describes himself as part of the Florida Keys labor force. He urges federal aid arrive quickly. We're the ones that are going to rebuild this place. Nobody in a Mercedes uh, is going to drive up here and start rebuilding stuff. Uh, we're going to be the ones that do it. So, so we need to be rebuilt first in order to make that happen. Not far from her home, Dixie Crystal Matthews watched as the American flag was raised above the sea, a symbol to her that help is on its way. That, that old glory, I love her. It's the most beautiful flag in the world. But now we know it's going to be okay. Ramon Taylor, VOA News, Florida Keys.